Hey, hey Josh, uh, I've been noticing, why have you been marking your hand for the past week with Roman numerals? Uh, because 27, I've been counting down the days until my birthday, which, at the time of this being posted, should be the exact minute I was born. Well, that's cool, does that mean it's my birthday too? No, and yes. Yes, because, well, technically you are literally me. No, because you are not me. <laughs> Oh man, well, do I get a birthday? Yes, I'm going to move your birthday, quote unquote, to the day the channel is posted, which was February 14th, unfortunately. I'll take it. I'm going to go fade out of existence now. Okay, well, he's gone again. Let's talk a bit about me, huh? Alright, looks like I'm going to be sitting where 27 was. I hope he doesn't fade back into existence, because that would be awkward. Um, anyway, let's start off with some music, if I can do that while I'm editing. Four big- No, we're not, we're, um, just transition. Well, um, I've got a lot to tell, but, um, first of all, transition again. This. I don't like this. I regret posting this. Technically, I didn't even make this. My father sent this to me on my birthday last year. I regret it. I don't, I'm, we're just gonna, we're just gonna, yeah, we're just gonna ignore that. And I know that transition was kind of fun, since I'm able to just do this and that. Whatever. <laughs> anyway, a lot of stuff's been happening to me the past two years. I say specifically the last two years because, well, I don't know if you've noticed, but this is not my initial home. People who've been here since, well, the first few months know that this is not my original house. Or at least not my original room, but yeah, it's not my original house either. And um, I've occasionally brought up the fact that I'm not where I was in the beginning of making this channel. And, uh, well, I say that region-wise, not, like, mental state, obviously. And, um, that's because I'm in Mexico City. I'm just gonna put that out there. I don't know if I've ever said that before, but, yeah. Uh, I, li I live in the U.S., but for the past year and a half now, I've been in Mexico City for my mom's work. I'm not gonna go into details on that because that's not important. Uh, also, you know, privacy, I think. But, yeah, uh, she's had a little... been doing this for two years. I don't know why. I, I never agreed to this, but I'm making the best out of the situation. Anyway, <laughs> uh, life's been fine, I guess. I've got you guys, I've been posting a lot. Well, a lot in the beginning. Lately, I know I haven't been doing much. But uh, yeah, life's been fine, I guess. I don't really know. Uh, I, 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 I don't know the terms and conditions of YouTube, so we're just gonna say I'm uh, I'm 35, yeah. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm 35, yeah. Just uh, put that in the books, I guess. I'm, I'm definitely 35 right now. But yeah, this past year has been uh, all right, I guess. I've tried to, I'm dealing with stuff fine. Again, got you guys. Uh, there's a lot of stuff that's been happening with the channel lately, so that's interesting. Obviously, you know, I've been making the Empty Room series. I renamed it from the Schizophrenia series, for those that are new, because the videos YouTube was recommending from that were scaring me, because <laughs> they were all about the actual disorder. <laughs> and um, I was starting to think, uh-oh, maybe naming my series where I talk to myself as the same thing as a mental disorder probably isn't a good idea. And, uh, yeah, no, I don't think it was. So now I'm just gonna, I've just been calling it the Empty Room Series. I still kept the initial one at Schizophrenia because, well, it's funny, and, you know, I'm talking to myself. But yeah, I've, I've been able to materialize the uh, concept of Firemaster 27 a lot more lately, mainly because, you know, I'm kind of lonely. I'm, I, I live in Mexico City, so, you know, it's a city. There's not many opportunities to go outside and, I don't know, play with friends. Because I'm from the suburbs, mainly, so over there, you have a lot more opportunities to go outside. <laughs> touch grass. <laughs> I don't usually go outside now that uh, ever since I've been here. <laughs> this sounds terrible. <laughs> but, uh, <laughs> anyway, brief insanity trip aside. <laughs> Life's been fine, I guess. I'm lonely. Well, <laughs> uh, not that. Uh, that's. I'm without connection, I guess. I have my family here, majority. My dad's still back home since he wasn't able to permanently stay here since his job's back there, but I've been dealing with things alright. I talked to my friends online. I made a total of like two friends here. Uh, and the reason for that is actually very interesting, so let's get to, into that. Um, so, as I said initially, we're going to be here for two years and two years alone. We've already gone through like a year and a half, and that's when the school year's over, we're done. Um, don't question the fact that I said I'm 35 and I'm still in school. Uh, college, yeah, definitely college. college. <laughs> uh, but, since we're only going to be here for two years, I figured I'd spare myself the pain and just not try to make many friends while I'm in this new school, new area, since, you know, it's going to be two years, and then after those two years, I'm going to go back, and I'm going to have all my friends again, or at least the majority of them. 
because you know some of them are going to different schools and stuff like that but i'll still be in close proximity with them so that's good but um i know now that that didn't really work out as best that i'd hope uh initially i had three friends but then uh one of them just drifted off you know since we're at different well he's in my class right now but since you know we have I'm literally, like, okay, the way it's split up is that, obviously, there's two sides, boys and girls. I am, like, quite literally the most lonely in that class. I have no friends, as I said, because of the other boys, the other guys. <laughs> Stop before you cancel yourself. What he was trying to say is that there are already a bunch of pre-made friend groups in that class, and I am a part of none of them. So that's fun. Anyway, back to what I was talking about. What I'm trying to say is that they're a lot more connected than I was with by uh, the, the friend in question, so we're not really friends anymore. And now I'm just all alone. Yeah, so usually whenever we're doing the group stuff in teams and stuff like that, I'm usually by myself. So that's, you know, yeah. It's very, I'm not gonna say it's difficult, but at the same time, you know, the strive for human connection is very strong right now. And I don't know if I can survive. Yeah. Stuff's been fine overall, it's been difficult to deal with the fact that I'm gonna have to abandon these two people. <laughs> I know it's only two people, but people is people, you know? But I've been, in, in terms of like actual friends in general, I've, I've been fine. Occasionally I talk to the actual, to the friends back home online. Kids, be careful online. You know, they're always dangerous people. All, for all you know, I might be a dangerous person. I might be 40 instead of 35. <laughs> anyway, what I'm trying to say is that I also have some friends online. You know, obviously we know Box Lover. Uh, there's Monkey Man. I think that's his name right now. It is, he called himself Trifinity. He's gone through a bunch of names, but he's also kind of an acquaintance of mine. We don't really talk as much anymore. Actually, now I think about it, I think he just uh, unlisted all his videos, or like deleted them. It was really weird. Um, but yeah, I mean, yeah, I have those two guys. They're cool. I haven't really done a collab with, Bro with Box in a long time. Frankly, I don't really talk to him much other than his own YouTube comment section, but that's fine. I can survive. I, I keep talking about the fact that I'm surviving, but... I feel like this is an end-of-the-world scenario. I'm, I'm dealing with it fine. I'm an ambivert, I'm pretty sure, so, like, I'm fine regardless. Like, uh, I can quite literally stay in this room, and as long as I have a proper... Not proper... As long as I just have food and water, I'll literally just be fine. Yeah, I don't really need much to stay afloat mentally. Music's been a big help with dealing with the lack of uh, people to talk to. Uh, obviously, you guys know I listen to ZU5. Um, he's pretty... He's pretty, um... Let's just say he has a big presence on the internet involving his music. Whether it's good or bad, it's up to you. I don't really care. And you shouldn't really care about what I have to say, but he's out there at least. I'm sure he's pretty known amongst most people. Oh man, he's a... Yeah, anyway. It was also, I recently, about last year, I started listening to this guy called Chewy Cat. He's really cool. He made Fortnite songs, so that's helpful for me in making the outros for the Fortnite, you know, uh, Battle Pass reviews. Although now I'm starting to lean more into the Fat Rat. Now, obviously, I've been singing Escape and Gravity. I'm not, not not really singing it. I sang it once. I, I know I drifted from the initial uh, format of singing alongside the parts in the song while I slowly progressed it throughout the videos. But now I, j I just recorded one, like, 30-second part of the song. And now I, I just have that as its own little video that I can import into my editing software, which is CapGrip. I'm just going to put that out there. <laughs> and I just put it at usually the end. So, you know, whenever it says, Stop! Uh, yeah, that, that's usually when I put the outro. But, uh, in the beginning when I didn't do that, Chewy Cat was always there to provide a Fortnite song for the season really fast. Like, it was surprising how fast that dude makes music. And, you know, I'm not about to be completely honest, I really like it. My favorite Fortnite song he's made is definitely either going to be Cog in the Machine, which is Chapter 4, Season 1 song. Back Again, which is Season OG. Um, and honestly, this one, Underground, the for this season, it's pretty good, I'm not going to lie. He's made other songs too. He collabed with CG5, making a Spider-Man 2 song, Rendezvous. Very good, very good listen to it. But uh, <laughs> transitioning from that guy, uh, there's Legrand. Uh, he made he made that one song with CG5, Give a Little. He makes other songs too. He does a lot with the, I think saxophone is what it's called. I don't really know. I don't know music instruments, but he's pretty cool. <laughs> the use of instruments he has is very interesting, but yeah. Finally, I think I'll end this segment off with JT Music. I know you guys, some of you guys might recognize the name. He's the guy who made the Final Freddy songs. Um, yeah, the most popular ones, like Join Us For A Bite. He's made songs for all the initial games, all the four games, plus his sister location. After that, I don't really know. But yeah, he still makes music. It's pretty good, honestly. Um, yeah, I, I mean, he posts really regularly. Usually alongside, uh, Andreas, or I don't remember her last name. I don't know how to pronounce it. That's the voice for the baby in, uh, sister location. For those of you guys listening to Try Hard Ninja, he, she voiced the baby in the song Don't Come Crying. 
She usually is like female lead. If he ever has a female lead on alongside him in a song, it's most likely be, gonna be her. Uh, actually, now I think about it, I don't, I don't know if he might have made a song alongside another different female lead, but usually it's with her. And uh, she's got a good voice, I'm not gonna lie. But let's uh, let's conclude that segment and go on to video games. Video games, of course, like everyone from my generation, which is um, um, uh, I don't know, <laughs> I don't know anymore. Uh, let's just, I'm just not gonna say anything about that. Well, obviously, you know, video games are a big part of today's society. <laughs> Whatever that may mean to you. Um, lately, I've just, lately, I mean, I say lately, but honestly, I've only been playing on my Xbox. I have a Switch right there too, but I don't really play on it that much. Actually, I don't know, I think, but I think it's dead. Which is a shame, because uh, recently I got Super Mario RPG, the, the remake, because I, well, I don't, I, I don't really have any personal experience with it, but my uncle had like a virtual NES, well, I said, whatever virtual means, but it's an NES, it's modeled like one, but it doesn't take any discs or any of the cartridges, and it just has a bunch of games, and Super Mario RPG was one of them. And so, of course, being a fan of Super Mario and knowing the term RPG and how it's kind of an interesting thing, I decided to play it. I obviously liked it. Uh, now I have the remake, which honestly I was really, I was immediately hooked when I saw the trailer for. It. I was like, let's go, Gino. You know, obviously Gino, he's the guy. Some people have wanted in Smash for a long time, but has been constantly ignored. I mean, he's gotten attention. Obviously, this little marshmallow guy. I think his name is Mallow. He's cool, but honestly, just the premise, really interesting. And uh, I don't know, maybe I'll play it one day. Well, I say one day, but I probably should. There's a lot of games to play though. <laughs> obviously, lately Fortnite's been having my attention. Sometimes. Oh, yeah, other than Sonic Frontiers and Slime Ranchers, I only just play Fortnite. Uh, it's kind of unhealthy. It's unhealthy, but at the same time, I pay a lot of money on it. Mm, a lot of money goes into it, I'll just say that. And, uh, well, I mean, I'm gonna make my money's worth. Also, you know, lately, the crossover has been insane. We got, like, Futurama, like, a few months ago. We got Invincible, like, a month ago. And right now, we have Solid Snake. Dude, that's insane. This is, like... <laughs> This would have been, this would have blown everyone's mind back when it was first released. I don't think anyone would even believe it. Well, frankly, I don't know how old Invincible is as a series is. I think it's, I don't know. Anyway, but yeah, dude, Fortnite, it's, wow. Say what you will about it, it's, it's done a great job at, like, the metaverse concept. Especially with the Lego game mode, the new game modes it made, dude. It's insane, dude. It's, it's, making, it's giving Roblox a run for its money with how many different games it has. Yeah, obviously, arguably, some of them are not as good, but the Epic Official ones are insane, dude. And now that they add a UEFN, dude, it's, it's insane. It's insane. It's genuinely insane. I guess one last thing is that I recently got a new cousin. Yay. I don't remember when he was actually born. I say that because, well, they didn't tell me. <laughs> uh, since I don't really talk to them that much, or at least virtually. Of course, we talk whenever we show up physically, but if he is within the week of my birthday, I'm gonna have to throw hands. I know he's just a baby, but I have to throw hands with him. Yeah, it was uh, a few weeks, days, I don't know. This month, okay? He came out this month. <laughs> Talking about my album. But yeah, they named him the second. So, like, name the second. So, if I ever see him, I'm just gonna always talk about talk to him in medieval speak. Like, good day, my laird. How does <laughs> the fair upon this new world? And all that stuff. But. Yeah, I hope you've enjoyed this episode. I say episode, video, rant, whatever you want to call it. These unscripted parts. <laughs> to be all, ah, everything is unscripted. Whatever. Hope you've enjoyed me ranting about myself and how's my birthday. If it's your birthday when you're watching this, also good for you. Anyway, probably a video around here, probably another video around here. Again, channel will probably cover my face. But, yeah, I think that's about it. Bye bye.